Ahla wa sahlan ya shabab. Hello and welcome guys and gales. So, in the last video we started to set up epoxy. We have our epoxy item task.xml and because of the date here created on, we, we have a slight problem now. As you can see the created on is a, um, it's a timestamp which is not so human readable. And we are going to fix this with create, by creating a new package. So let's create a new package. Let's create the util package. And we are creating the new, it should be a singleton date util. And I will copy this just from my Medium blog post. Just copy it. And I will explain it to you in a second, hopefully. So, um, central date format import. Uh, da, 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 da. Uh, okay. Uh, import. Okay. Now we should be good to go. Okay. I just have this method from the internet or somewhere else, I think. Yes. So basically what it does, it takes our, as you can see, this format is exactly like this format. Year, year, month, day, and then hours, and then second, uh, minutes, and then seconds. Yeah, hours, minutes, seconds, and the milliseconds, and so on. And what it does, it converts it to a new format. This is the parser. And we want to be in a format day, month, year. And this happens here when the parser parses the date string which we are providing. That date string here. And here the formatted to format it. And this is all the magic. It just takes this thing in here and makes it to 19th of July 2023. That's basically it for now. That's the date util singleton. And now what we are going to do, we're creating an adapter. So because this attribute doesn't exist. Okay. We are creating a binding adapter. Binding adapter. Annotated with binding adapter. Okay, give it a name. What is the name? As you might guess it, formatted date. So this will be used when every time we use the attribute formatted date in an XML file. And fun bind format date. Mm. Mind actually, I just can just copy this. Uh, copy, make this a uh, uppercase F date. Just give it a few as an uh, argument, it's a text view. Okay, text view and a date string. Not da data, it's a date string of type string and this string can be nullable okay that's great if date string is not null then we are performing some stuff if it's null we don't have any data so it doesn't make sense um, damn it. okay Okay, just say uh, formatted date. This will be our format date is equal to now our date util singleton comes in handy format. It will format now the date string. And then we can say few dot text equals to View dot 
should be f in const context get string. Then we pass here a string value. Uh, just let me just import. Okay, import. And we have created on text. And mm, of course we have to pass format date. So what will it look like? So for instance, this one, 19th July 2023, will be created on 19th of 19th dot zero seven dot 2023. And this is exactly what we are I'm showing here. I don't know if you can see it right now, but this is this here. Okay. Okay, now and you see this is not yellow anymore because we have a binding adapter for this. And that's great, I would say. Okay, now we have handled this. We have our utils. Okay. Okay, 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 what comes next? I think now we can continue with the epoxy controller. Okay, uh, just let me check. We need to have a list here. It will be tasks. And this will be a mutable list. task fetch response okay nice 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 okay before we continue just to make sure that everything got properly applied just once build the project click on the hammer icon here make project and the build should be triggered okay nice Everything got built so far, no errors, that's always a good thing. Now we can iterate over the list to get a real list. Mm. I mean, I don't, I don't think I have it. To, to iterate of all of this and to make um, the, the card views. And yes, so let's say tasks. And let's take a for each, but indexed. And we don't need an index, we just need a model. Let's say line break. And now this layout comes in handy. And as you might remember, we have the epochs in front of it. Now we can use it. But how to use it is like item task. You see the, the library gets rid of the epochs in front of it. And we can just use item task, the layout. And here, what we have to say, set is the task fetch response and the BG color, the background color. Um, but of course, we also have to say, give it an ID. And the ID will be of our model ID. So task fetch response has an ID with it. We assign it to it. And now we will give the task response. As you can see, task response, it got created for us. Here we can just pass the model and we have to give it a background color is because if you go into it, here we have the back, the variable BG color. And of course, this will be our past field card. Ah, we, we have to say, an instance we have it as a field and card background color okay now it got applied that's great i mean how this works i just mm, described in my medium.com article where it is here i got it a bit more described what's going on in here and so on and so forth just if you're curious just read the article or in this video i just want to show how things are properly done and okay, let's we need um, one more method to set the task in our fragments. Let's say set tasks. This will be the items. Let's call it items list. 
task fetch response. Okay. First of all, our list, our tasks. When we're setting a new task, we want to clear them first. Otherwise, we will have duplicate duplicate values, so clear it first. Then we can add those tasks. Tasks. <laughs> yes, we can add all of them, of course. Add all and say items. Next thing we need to do is request model build so the UI gets properly updated. And yeah, the next thing what we are going to need in our fragments, these are just methods we're going to need them later in the fragments, is the number of tasks. Get number of tasks. This can be a simple one-liner. It's an integer value and we get it from this dot tasks dot size. Okay. I mean, actually you would not need this, but okay, I just put it in here. Um, that Get the task by an ID, a specific task. You want a specific task, get task by ID. And we need, of course, the index. It's also a parameter of type integer. And we are going to return a task fetch response. Yes, it's this dot tasks. And here we pass the index. I mean, we can also do here this the tasks. And yes, 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 yes. Okay, that looks good for now. One more thing that is missing is we have to add some swipe gestures. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay, let's do this. Mm -hmm. Swipe gestures. Okay, but this will be not in epoxy, it will be yes, here a move file to view and to move, yes. So, okay, now we have our swipe gestures. And to be honest with you, I just had found this file somewhere on, in, on the internet. So we'll just copy paste the logic uh, we'll explain to you in a second. Second, just wait. Okay, okay, import. Okay, all the errors are gone. That's great. And basically what this class is doing, it, it will provide us with some swipe gestures left to right, right to left for when you swipe left you get the um, edit and when you swipe right you get the delete and uh, that's basically it it's just copied from the internet the base logic of it i think i've described some things in my medium.com article how it works and yeah that's basically it. it's not something i think not really necessary to explain right to you yeah the best I can have described it in here on medium and that's it basically just for swiping left and right. And yeah, I would say if you're interested, just check the code and then I think you will understand it. And that's basically it for this part. We are finished with part 11 and let's start with next with the part 12. If you have questions, write me a comment in the section below. Don't forget to like, to subscribe if you not have already done so. Uh, yeah, see you in the next video. Ilalika, ya shabab.